Welcome to the channel. I am the Jamaican Scoop Diva and these are the headlines coming up. Burj Banton's Canadian visa has been reinstated. Sidem proves her loyalty to Vibes Cartel. Sizzler exposes Judgment Yard to Ethiopia. And finally, fans are questioning whether or not Vibes Cartel is seeking attention by exposing his own surveillance camera setup at his home. Stick and stay for more. Fans of veteran dancer reggae artist Buja Banton, who have been longing to see him perform live in Canada, will get a reprieve on Sunday, October 13. This as Banton recently acquired a Canadian visa. Banton will take his The Overcomer tour to the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. In an interview with the Jamaica Observer recently, Banton said the reinstatement of his Canadian visa would give him a chance to showcase the Jamaican culture. He said, this means I have a chance to present the culture and budget banton to Canadians once more. From performing for the masses is always a joy, but Canada is a special place for us Maroons. Banton's last performance in Canada was at the Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver in 2009. His popularity in Canada saw him touring the country on multiple occasions over the years. Last year, his hit single Champion, which was released on Island Records in 1995, was certified gold in Canada by Music Canada after it reached the milestone of selling 40,000 units, sorry, 40,000 units. Champion is featured on Banton's RIAA certified gold selling album Till Silo. Banton's The Overcomer Tour, is, which is produced by the AG Touring, will feature reggae singer Grams Morgan as the opening act. He also received his U.S. visa um, earlier this year in May. So his visa was reinstated, actually. Now, this article came directly from the Jamaica Observer. And, you know, congratulations are in order for Boja Bantan. You know, he has been through a lot. He was incarcerated for about a decade or more than a decade. And it is excellent to see him shining, you know, making it back for last time. He's certainly not wasting any time at all. So shout out to Boja Bantan. Of course, you know, this is his second visa that's been reinstated so he can freely tour America, the United States. He can freely tour Canada. And, you know, he had an amazing show locally and it went very, very well. And, you know, maybe, maybe this is something that's special and maybe it's a hoping thing. Maybe um, this is something special that Vibes Cartel can look for. So I don't know. I'm just saying I'm just throwing it out there. But, you know, this is always good stuff. And I'm always happy for when artists, you know, especially ones such as um, Boja Bantan, who is extremely talented, extremely influential. And he is basically a veteran and he's an icon and he has done so much for reggae and he is one of the greats so i'm happy to see him spreading his wings and flying and doing what he's supposed to do please share your thoughts in the comment section Moving on from Boja Banton over to Vibes Cartel, we see where Vibes Cartel seems to be in what look like looks like a happy, flourishing relationship with his, I don't know if she's actually his fiance. I don't know if he proposed to her, but um, that's his spouse, that's his girlfriend, that's his wife, he's Sidim, and um, it's cute. So basically, um, I know a lot of persons were suspicious of, you know, Sidim's motives if she sincerely loves Vibes Cartel. But if you look at the pictures from way back when, you will realize that Sidem actually was by his side for quite a bit of years. So not for many, many years as, you know, his previous spouse. But, you know, he she's been by his side for some time now. And um, she's here singing um, an old Vibes Cartel song. I think that song is at least six years old, um, maybe older. I'm not quite sure. But um, she's singing the song. We know the song. All the fans should know this song. And she seems to know the lyrics of the song. So could it be a case where she was genuinely a Vibes Cartel fan? Or is it a case where 
when she was pursuing him or he was pursuing her either way i don't know how he could pursue her from behind the bar so i'm assuming that she pursued him allegedly i don't know is it a case where she went ahead and did her research on him but that's an old song so if she knows that song there's a chance she was genuinely a fan i'm just saying not picking up for her but it's always fun light-hearted it's light-hearted to see um her singing the songs and they're just having fun personally i have never seen vibes cartel like this before going to prison now that he's out i think he has a different outlook on life i think he's taking life a little bit slower i think he's savoring all the good moments in life because he realizes now what freedom means to him um i think that especially with his health crisis which i think he's looking a little bit better now but Due to his health situation, I think he's really dealing with life with a more positive approach. And I see him trying to stick to one woman. I don't know what he's doing in his life, personal life, whatever. But he seems to be moving respectful. I don't think he's moving like a womanizer. Not saying he was a womanizer before. Just saying. So it's always a good look to see him like this. And so this, in some sense, this kind of proves her loyalty to Vibes Cartel. That look, she has been a fan from day one. From old school Vibes Cartel to incarcerated vibes cartel to now freed five vibes cartel and you know i think they're just living their best life and i think she really brings him off you know i think they make a, a good looking couple etc let me know your thoughts in the comments <laughs> Rastafari, we are an empire. Rastafari, it's a very empire. Yes, that's your the key. You know, that's what I, I was. I, 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 I did mention. Yes, the whole Africa is too. Yes, mm, and you are from the Jewish. Yes, yes. Okay, that's uh, there's no difference. No difference. <laughs> yes, there's no division. It's just that the white men live in. Ethiopia, Africa, and they partition it. Yes, right, right. From one top tier artist to the next, we're moving on to Sisla Kolonji. And he seems to be exposing Judgment Yard and the true values and core meanings of what Judgment Yard stands for. And you know, Sisla Kolonji is a Rastafarian and they hold Africa, the motherland, in very high regards. And in this video clip, you can see where Sisla is basically showcasing uh, Judgment Yard to some kind of African person of importance. I, honestly, I don't know his name, but... By his accent and how he's dressed, it seems like he's an authentic Ethiopian, I believe. And they were just discussing different parts of where the tradition meets in the middle. And they're saying the similar, they're explaining the similarities because you know that um, Rastafarianism, I wouldn't say worships the motherland, but they have the motherland in high regard. Motherland meaning Africa, because you know we are all, as black people, Africans. You know, that's the motherland, right? So, Rastafarianism, particularly Sisla Kolonji, a.k.a. Dada, is and has been very passionate as it regards to the core values, um, being conscious minded and um, protecting the black woman, protecting the black man, protecting what we call the culture. You understand? He has been very passionate about certain things that he supports versus what he does not support. And you could see his passion here in this video. He's very well dressed in this video. He has all his little buttons and chains and etc. And um, the African man is there and he's just soaking in all of this. And I do like when these things happen because, um, you know, with the, with, with as time progresses, certain values 
almost seem to be obsolete. Not 100%, but seems because people are straying away from their core values. They're straying away from their natural nature. They're straying away from what is traditional. And I like the fact that Sizzler is publicly embracing his culture and publicly showcasing his culture to this person who's who's an Ethiopian, which is an African, and I, I'm proud of him. I like it. So kudos to you, Sizzler, and you know, all the best. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. <laughs> Finally, back on the topic of Mr. Adija Palmer, Vibes Cartel. Now, he posted a video on social media um, showcasing his security cameras, his surveillance cameras. And um, some people are debating whether or not he, this was necessary and whether or not this was safe. Some people are going as far as to question whether he is seeking attention unnecessarily. Um, yes and no. Um, some things I believe should be kept private. Certain things like your security camera setup, you wouldn't really want to expose that to the public because if there's someone who is planning to invade your home or rob you or try to break in, what they're looking for, the what they're looking for are blind spots. And so if the camera is not picking up that particular angle, they can study and figure out how best they can come into your home unnoticed and steal things. Now with that being said, I don't feel like there's anybody in their rightful mind that would actually go ahead and try to break into Vibes Cartel's home. And I'll just leave that there if you know, you know. In the same breath, although he showed about four different camera angles, I'm not quite sure that he would actually go out and show all of them. I don't know if this is all of them. I don't know if he would do something like that. And it's actually a very short clip. No, on the flip side, um, what some of us are may not remember or may, maybe not consider is that Vibes Cartel has been in prison for over a decade. Now, 12, 13, 14 years ago, not everyone had surveillance camera systems. Um, TikTok wasn't this popular. Going live wasn't that popular. And so everything that we are used to and everything that we may even take for granted, this is new for him, right? And so what I think sometimes is that he is just basking in the moment it's kind of like when you hold a brand new iphone for the first time it's like you're almost obsessed with it and so he's playing with social media and he's keeping to himself and these are things that he didn't have access to back behind the bars you understand so it's a new feeling i think he's just savoring all the moments and you know all these things are new for him and he is just soaking it in and expressing certain things the way how he feels best to express it. So maybe you and I would not agree to post the fact that we have surveillance cameras, but he's excited. Some people might even go as far as to say frightened. Who knows? Not No disrespect, just saying. And with that being said, this is the Jamaican Scoop Diva. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave your comments below. Please take care of yourselves.